There we go. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. We are live, ready to go. Welcome to Condition by Kia. Hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day. A nice three-day weekend. Today I'm going to be doing a legs and abs workout. Getting my initial warm-up stretch movement in. I love these reaches up. These always feel really good right here on the abs. Going sideways. Nice little stretch in there. It's a good start of a Tuesday. Nice and early. A bit foggy outside, but still pretty nice nonetheless. So I'm gonna do about 10 to 15. Just regular squats here, just to get my legs ready. Since today is leg naps. Yeah, that's 13, 14, and 15. And now just getting little tips ready. And a few more here. Then I'm going to start on my first exercise. All right. So the first one is going to involve legs and abs together. So for this, I'm using a dumbbell. Um, if you're following me, working out with me today, if you don't have a dumbbell, you can always do this without any weights at all really. Dumbbell just gives it that little extra. Um, easiest way to set this up actually is going to setting that dumbbell down, getting yourself into position into a wall, sit on the wall first, and then grabbing your dumbbell. So I'm going to hold it lengthwise like that, and I'll be crunch, twist, twist. That's one. Two. Three. I'm switching hands here to give my arms more range of motion, my abs more range of motion. Five there. This is nine. right there. I'm going to grab my other 15 while I'm at it. Because my next one, I'm going to use both of my dumbbells here. And it'll be calf raise to squats. Involving all the legs. I'm going to start getting my dumbbells here. Up on my shoulders. Unlock the knees. Hips at the ready. Squat, calf raise while the knees are still unlocked and the hips are still hinged. I'm at 10 so far. I'm 
One more. Set that down. Gonna have my dumbbell ready at the wall. Just gonna catch my breath here for a moment. Those of you watching so far, how's your Tuesday going? Hello and welcome. I'm gonna jump back to my wall crunch here. Now for this, to make it a bit easier on my hips and the motion, my knees are not exactly at a 90, I'm just above a 90 degree angle on the knees. But if you want to aim for that 90 degree angle, it makes it even more challenging. I'm just being a bit more protective on my right knee, because that 90 degree angle on my right knee, when I hold it for too long, my knee doesn't quite like it. Halfway, that's five. Whew, ten right there. Dumbbell here. Squats to calf raise. Our next step. I do find that I'm fine. I do find that I'm liking my leg days more often now. Leg day used to be. I would never say my favorite day, but I never disliked it. Not like a chest or back workout. I love upper body workouts, but when it comes to leg day workouts, sometimes I have to motivate myself just a little bit extra. But since I changed up my routine on my leg day, it's not so terrible anymore. Squat and to calf raise. Fourteen, fifteen, setting one down, prepping the other one by the wall. This is a good starter set. Getting the heart rate going in a decent pace, really. Getting my feet in position here. Oh, let me read this real quick. <laughs> Good morning, heat caster. Yes, definitely got to run to get those, get those gains. How was your Memorial Day this weekend? Did you have a good three-day weekend? With these ones, you should feel the quads and the abs. One. 
one more. And I'm gonna take this with me here. Woo. There we go. Nice, good start. On to my squats to calf raises in just a moment. Hello, hello everyone. How's it going? How's your Tuesday? All right. Grabbing these up, adjusting it so that way they kind of lay on my shoulder just right. There we go. And squat to calf raise. Fifteen there. Right. Grab some water before my second set here. If you're following along, working out with me. Hopefully your heart rate is up there too. Feeling a nice good leg workout so far. And abs. All right, so this one is going to start in a side, well, very big wide stance position. It'll be a double side lunge, holding the dumbbell like a goblet. I'll knock the knees, unhinge the hips, or hinge the hips, and it'll be one, two, one, two. Ten so far, I'm gonna go for twenty. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Alright. Now this next one you can choose to use a band on your ankles or just straight body weight. But this one is going to be a plank with a double step out. So you're going to get into that plank position. Shoulders, elbows above the wrist. And it'll be one, two, unlock the knees. Two, keep the core tight. Three, four. Eleven so far. Whew. Twenty there. Double side lunges coming up next. After I catch my breath real quick. I like those ones. Feel, you feel a good flex on your abs as well as the outer thighs as well. If you add the band around the ankles, it does add that extra for the outer thighs. All right, got that dumbbell and the knees unlocked, hips hinged. One, Two. 
going deep into that side lunge. Halfway there, that's 10. out. Where's my yellow one here? So, I'm in the second round. Let me use my elastic band. The elastic band tends to work better range of motion wise. You can still use the fabric band too. Might get a little less range of motion. Getting in and out of this plank will be a little bit tougher though. Not impossible. Giving it a little bit of a jump instead of a walk. And shoulders, elbows unlocked over the hands. One, two, unlock the knees. Tighten that core. more. Whew. And 20 there. Got the side lunges coming up. Funny thing is about this band, it used to be my light one, but snapped it. I don't know if it was overuse or if it was just I went a little crazy with one of my leg days. But it snapped. And now that I tied it together, kind of acts more like a medium. It's kind of cool. I do like fabric bands better. They have more durability for sure. They definitely don't snap as easily. They don't have the same range of motion. But it does force you to flex your muscles a bit more. To going deep in that side lunge. One more of those planks. I'm gonna get myself set here. Okay. From here, the plank step out, so you got 20 more of these. Move that dumbbell out of my way just in case. Quick jump back, arms are lined up, elbows are unlocked, knees are unlocked, Elb or abs are tight.
12. there. There we go. All right. So the next one is going to be with the wall as well. Take my dumbbell over here. These ones have become quite a recent favorite, really. I'm gonna hold my dumbbell lengthwise like that. And as if I'm leaning on the wall, and then I'm gonna take myself away, take a little step forward. This is how I get my feet set up. Yeah, there we go. One foot on the wall, and one foot on the ground. And it's a single leg deadlift. Almost lost my balance there. Keeping my feet in the same position and then just swapping the foot. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, before I move my feet away, I'm gonna use my dumbbell as a marker. It's usually what I like to do. So, with my other dumbbell, I'm gonna do the work for the other exercise. So now for this one, I like to have the band on my feet. Use fabric or elastic. Holding the dumbbell here. Nice deep breath. Up and squeeze. One, two. Up and squeeze. I'm at 11. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Let's see how I feel about maybe this band. I won't get as high though stick with that yellow one. But I'm back to the wall. After I catch my breath here. Okay, so now that I have my dumbbell here, I'm just gonna have my foot lined up with the dumbbell. That way, all I have to do now is just put my foot on the wall and I'm in position already. I do like how this one challenges your balance a bit. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13, 15, nice deep breath, lining up the feet, and there we go. Ten, eleven, twelve, and that fourteen, fifteen, and before I leave my feet off, lead my feet away, marking that spot with my dumbbell. Get my music rolling here again. I think next on my to-do list will most definitely be creating a longer playlist i think out of all the workout music i definitely like to listen to artists like skillet like pillar Thousand foot crotch, stuff like that. Alright. Grabbing that dumbbell. Knee up and squeeze for two. Knee up and squeeze. I'm at 16. Twenty right there. A nice deep breath. A little sip of water. And then I'm gonna jump back to that wall. Now if you are following along working out with me. Know that it's not good to chug your water in between little sips. So much better for you. Helps you to avoid that nauseous feeling when you get too hot. Or if you're just getting kind of tired, it's a lot better. Sip your water so you don't feel that nauseousness. When you chug water, you drop a lot of water into your stomach. And your stomach is really hot from all the extra blood flow, so then it makes you feel kind of nauseous. All right, got my foot in place. The other foot on the wall. 15, here I go. And five more. Woo, Fifteen there. Dropping that foot. Take a nice deep breath. Swap feet. Thirteen. Whew, Fifteen. And because that's the third one, I don't need to mark that spot. Ok, 
catching my breath in between here. That does have a bit of a fire on those glutes and hamstrings. Love it. One more of these. The band on your feet. Okay. Got the dumbbell ready. Up and squeeze, and then up and squeeze. Halfway here, that's 10. Next, I'm going to do a three-second goblet squat with my dumbbell after I catch my breath here. So if you are watching and you are on a weight loss journey or any kind of fitness journey, it is definitely good to make sure you eat at least five handfuls of vegetables every day varying types of course it will help you to reach your goals a whole lot faster it'll give you more natural energy boost your metabolism help your digestive system so many benefits to vegetables all you got to do is eat at least five handfuls a day that was kind of like my key factor in how i ended up dropping 25 pounds was making sure I ate at least five handfuls of vegetables every day and cutting out pretty much anything sugar. Three second goblet squats. One, two, three, that's one, up and squeeze. One, two, three, that's two, up and squeeze the glutes. One, two, three, that's three. And 10 right there. My goal for 15 for the second round. Hey, good morning, Ann. How's it going? I'm doing great, thank you. Workout's going great so far. I chose to do a bit more of a cardio-ish workout today. As yesterday, I didn't really overeat, but a little bit more than usual, I would say. But I figured a good cardio day was a fun way to start my day today, really. How was your memorial day yesterday? Did you have fun? I'm going bare to plank for this exercise. From plank into bare where your knees are just off the floor. That's one. Back to plank. That's two. Three. Twelve. Whew. Fifteen there. 
Helen definitely needs the sweat cloth there. my breath with that one. Do you ever work out with makeup, Sarah? If you do, let me know what the best mascara or eyeliner is to prevent sweat from rolling into your eyes. Still trying to figure that but the eyeliner, that's the tricky part. I think I found a good mascara, but the eyeliner, that one just rolls into your eye when you get super sweaty. Three second squats. One, two, three. Four, up and squeeze. Up and squeeze, not letting the knees lock out. Ten here. Eleven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. Got bear to plank coming up next. Nice deep breath. Here we go, bear to plank. I'm gonna start with the left leg this time. Left leg lead instead of right leg. This is five. I gotta say, the hardest thing with bear to plank, or any plank motion when you're working your legs behind you, is fighting that pullback. It's not so much that the core is not activated, it's just the movement of the legs makes it slightly a bit harder. You have to mentally readjust. All right, one more round of those three second squats. Got my dumbbell ready. Feet are ready. Knees are ready. <laughs> One, two, three. Up and squeeze. That's two. Three. Seven, mostly there. Ten, five more. One more. Fifteen there. Little sip of water, and then back to bear to plank. Last exercise here, and I'll stretch it out. So this time, I'm gonna leave seven with the right leg, 
leave the other bit, the other eight with the left leg. That way I keep it evened out a little bit. Into that plank position. And now I'm to bear. And that two. That's seven, leading with the left. Two more. In there. A quick split wipe off. And then a nice stretch. So for the stretch, bring your feet, toes pointing in the same direction, hands behind your back, hinge it forward, unlock that knee. Take a deep breath and get lower. Another deep breath, get lower. Make sure your toes are still pointing in the same direction. You're stretching your other leg in a different way. Bring that up. You're gonna rotate. Toes in the same direction. Hands behind your back. Chest is up, back is flat. Knees are unlocked. Going into that flat position. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and go lower again. Be sure that while you're doing this stretch, your back is flat the whole time instead of arched. Come on up, bring your feet out wide, chest is up, nice and high, take a deep breath. Try to get that palm flat and your fingers are facing the same direction as your toes. Keep that straight leg, your knee is unlocked. Keep your back flat and stretch those inner thighs. Come up, take a deep breath, angle that foot, fingers and toes are pointing in the same direction, the other leg is straight but not locked, take a deep breath, bring it on up, let's go with one more stretch, come on down to a kneeling position, Stretch forward, take a deep breath. And then now put that hand forward and stretch deeper. One more deep breath. Flatten yourself the other way. Get that lower back as flat as you can. Take a deep breath. Bring that up to center. And then I'm gonna switch sides. So from here, kneeling position. Forward first with your chest up. Arms slightly behind you. A nice deep breath. Drop that hand and go a little bit deeper in that stretch.
One more deep breath and then it'll be straight leg. Flex it back, keeping that lower back and upper back as straight as possible. This leg that's in front of you has a slight, slight bend. Back to that neutral position before you stand up and come all the way up. Well, that is going to end it for today's legs and abs workout. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you have an awesome, wonderful Tuesday. And I'll be here tomorrow, 7.30 in the morning. Tomorrow's going to be my back and biceps day. So I hope to see you there. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Caster. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow.